Hey guys, John Rettinger here with a review for you of iMovie 09, one of the key applications in the new iLife suite. So I unboxed and purchased iLife just about a week ago, and I've had a real nice chance to use most of the applications. But in this video I want to just talk about the one that's really most important to me and that I use every day, iMovie 09. I use iMovie for editing all my videos, creating all my videos, post-production all my videos, really anything that's had to do with YouTube has gone through iMovie. Whether it's been iMovie HD, iMovie 08, or now iMovie 09, I've been using it for quite a while. I think I've got a nice sense of perspective about how the product has evolved to where it is now. When Apple first announced iMovie 09 and the whole iLife 09 suite at Macworld, I was really excited, but cautiously optimistic. So let me share with you guys some of my initial impressions. First off, the key feature for me and the reason I ran out to go get this was image stabilization. If you guys are not using a tripod or doing a lot of handheld action or your grandma is recording your video and she got the shakes, image stabilization is really going to be for you. And I gotta say, it works as advertised. The only caveat that I have with it is that it takes a ridiculously long time to render. To stabilize a five minute clip could take you a good 25 minutes to a half hour, so be prepared for that. I did a little bit of research on it, and it appears that the program actually re-renders the video pixel by pixel, which I guess it makes sense that it takes so long. It's a very impressive technology, and I consider it to be a pro feature that Apple included in a consumer application. So really, kudos to them for that. Uh, it really, again, works as advertised and came away extremely impressed. If shaky camera is something that you experience, iLife09 is the reason to go out and get it, just, just for that feature alone. Absolutely fantastic, and I couldn't be happier with it. So the other features that Apple's touting is the Indiana Jones style maps, which I'll probably never use, and you guys maybe will use once or twice. Not that helpful. They also included some green screening action, which I think is really cool. So you can take a wall behind you or any sort of green surface, you can buy a green screen sheet for 30 bucks on Amazon, and you can make it look like you're anywhere. I've been playing around with it, and it really does work quite well, although I'm not so comfortable with it yet that I want to use it in my videos. So as you guys can see, still plain old white behind me. But another professional level feature that Apple included in a consumer product. So I'm very happy about that. One of the features in iMovie HD, which is actually kind of iMovie 06, that I really liked was a timeline. It made editing and creating your clips really easy. You're able to visually see kind of where you stood in your editing process. Apple totally eliminated that with iMovie 08, much to the chagrin of a lot of editors. But they sort of brought it back and made amends with iMovie 09. What they did was they added this precision editor, which isn't a timeline, but it makes editing and cutting clips much easier and still gives you a visual representation of where you guys are at in your editing process. So I was very happy to see that sort of brought back. It makes it so much simpler to cut, add some sound, do voiceover work, whatever you want to do in iMovie. So I was very happy that kind of Apple fixed what I consider to be their big, big, big mistake that they made uh, the first go around. So that's something to keep in mind. One of the features that I really like in addition to image stabilization with iMovie 09 is rendering times. When I used to use iMovie 08 to import videos, it import quickly but then it would have to create thumbnails. And it would take forever to create the thumbnails. A five minute clip, it could take sometimes ten minutes to create the thumbnails. Apple has half to that. So now, five minute clip, five minutes, it's almost an exact correlation for how long your video is. So that is really nice to see. Not that I'm that impatient that I can't wait an extra few minutes, but it is nice to have your time back you can spend editing your video. So guys, overall, if I had to rate iMovie 09 and on a 10 scale, I would definitely give it a solid eight. If I had to compare it with iMovie 08, it would be a 10 off the charts. iMovie 08, I think, was just not the best product. But that being said, if you're happy with your current iLife suite, if you're happy with HD or you're happy with 08, I don't see a compelling reason to go out and run and get iMovie 09 and the whole iLife suite. If image stabilization is important to you, if you're on a full round with green screens, or if the rendering times are tedious to you, those are the few reasons I would say go out and upgrade just for iLife. No, just for iMovie, rather. There are a lot of other applications in the iLife suite, namely iWeb, GarageBand, and iPhoto, and I'll talk about all those individually, but this one was just about iLife. 
So guys, one of the questions I've been getting quite a bit with my whole new setup that I got here is if the back of my iMac is blue. It's not blue, straight black, it just with the sun coming in, I guess it gives a little bit of a blue tint. And thank you to everybody who sent suggestions for the wall behind me here. Um, toying around with a lot of different ideas, a lot of different pictures. So you may see things cycling in and out. So give me your impressions or whether or not you guys just like the straight up white. You know, it's up to you. And so it's up to you what you like, actually, since these videos are just for you. For exclusive content, be sure to follow me on Twitter at twitter.com slash john4lakers. Got a lot of really exciting stuff coming up, some giveaways, a lot of new unboxings. So for kind of first sight and all that, definitely check out Twitter. All right, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.